Well, one of the most fun storylines to watch this summer here in training camp and in the preseason has been the development of rookie Dallas Goddard as a blocker and really just how important that is for this Eagles offense. I'm Fran Duffy, joined by Eagles color commentator for the preseason, Mike Mayock from NFL Network. And Mike, let's just talk about the role of tight ends in this Eagles offense and really how important it is for Doug Peterson's overall scheme. Well, coaches call it 12 personnel, right? Two tight ends in the game, one back, two tight ends, two wide receivers. And the whole key to 12 personnel is when you have two tight ends that are 6'5", 6'6", 250, 255 pounds with an ability to get down the field and catch the ball vertically, you get two, two advantages. Number one, you get the mismatch the matchup advantage. And I think that's what every NFL offensive coordinator in the league wants. Where am I finding the matchup advantage in the pass game? But the corollary to that is that if you can block as well, if those two big guys are willing, and they're not gonna be great blockers, but if they're willing to block, now all of a sudden from a scheme perspective, your quarterback can sit out there, Carson Wentz or Foles, and he looks around and he goes, okay, they're a nickel. We got two tight ends in the game and they're a nickel, we're gonna run the ball. Or if they're in base, we got two tight ends that get down the field. Now we're going to throw the ball. And the Eagles quarterbacks are so intelligent and can control the game at the line of scrimmage, it gives them a pre-snap advantage. Yeah, and so that's why going into this preseason, showing that Dallas Goddard can be a willing blocker, Correct. one of the biggest storylines to watch. And we saw that week one against Pittsburgh. We saw it again last and, Thursday. And let's make the point, in college, they did not ask him to block hardly at all. So we didn't know. He wasn't asked to block, didn't mean he can't block, but we had no idea whether or not he'd be a willing blocker. Sure, so tell us what you're seeing here. This is gonna be a play where he's at the point of attack here on the left side as an inline player. Zach Ertz, by the way, in the slot on the back side of this run. So what do you see here from Goddard? So we're 12 personnel. Now let's start to roll this thing and you're gonna see him locate who he's got to block on the run because it's really outside zone for lack of a better term. They might try to pull the center, but look at Goddard. Again, is he willing? Is he willing to get in position? And right away he's in position, his hands, he's gotta get his hands in there tight. That's Chung, who's a pretty good safety he's blocking. And look at the movement he gets on Chung. That's outstanding and it's supposed to be point of attack even though Jay Ajayi ended up cutting it back. So he got out to the second level, got a big body on a safety and he wins at the point of attack. So now we see the second play here, and we're going to see him again on the play side of this run. This time he's a little detached. Yeah, and, and what I like here is this is an arc release where he's going to take an arc and look for a different color jersey, which is going to be Bentley, the inside linebacker. This is a 255-pound linebacker who brings some thud with him. So a little motion. Now watch the arc release. Gets on Bentley. Now run him out of the play. Keep your legs moving. Keep your feet moving. That's two plays in a row, a safety and a linebacker, where he's been willing and able to make a block at the point of attack. And like you said, now this really kind of sets things up for Doug Peterson and this offensive coaching staff. Let's take a look at a couple of plays from last fall when they were just so effective yeah. with 12 and 13 personnel. You had Zach Ertz, Brent Selleck, and Trey Burton. This is a two tight end set now. You've got Zach Ertz here on the back side. Trey Burton, he's out of the frame right now. He's going to come in and be a part of this play. Yeah, Burton's going to come in here and get a crack back block, a legal crack back block. And Ertz, what he usually is, is backside cutoff. So you're using Ertz's athletic ability, and you're using Burton last year, and we think Goddard this year more as a point of attack guy. Yeah, so now you're going to be able to see just what the Eagles are able to get at the point of attack with both of these guys, especially with Burton. Right Great there. job. Look, look at Burton right here, and what he's trying to do is wall off this linebacker. Outstanding job. Again, what do you have to do? You have to be willing. He was only about, what, 220? Yeah. You know, so, Former so, quarterback. So Goddard's got 30, 35 pounds on Burton, should be more effective. This is beautiful, though, right? YY, meaning two tight ends here, slot on the other side. We used to call this YY slot when I played for Coach Parcells. And what they're going to do here is they're just going to kind of reverse the, the outside guys coming inside, the inside guys coming outside, and what they're looking for is the what? Matchup. The matchup issue. Yeah. And if you can get one of those tight ends, especially Zach Ertz on this inside linebacker with no help, it's all over. And that's exactly what the Eagles get. And what I love about these two plays as well is that this play came against base. The last play came against nickel. You're running against five defensive backs. Yep. You're throwing against three linebackers. You're trying to find those favorable matchups. And again, with a quarterback as smart as Carson Wentz or Nick Foles, pre-snap, you can stand there, take a look at what the defense shows you, and know that you've got run pass options because of those two talented tight ends. With the addition of Dallas Goddard, I think there were still some questions about what this Eagles offense would look like. I think the, all those concerns, I think you can probably throw them by the wayside. Really good, th good things so far this summer from the rookie.